the, the resiliency your team showed at the end there to, you know, to keep them uh, and fight, how important is it to be able to pull that out today? Well, hopefully at some point in time, it's not going to be necessary, you know, to, to have that, to be in a position, you know, to, to get a huge turnover uh, on the kickoff, take advantage of it. Um, you know, and then we just, you know, we didn't, play, you know, give them credit. They, they fought and battled just the same way we did. You know, give, give Sean and, and the football team a lot of credit. That's a very good defense. Um, you know, so we'll have to play better. Uh, but I do, as always, appreciate, you know, the, our, our core group that, that fights and battles and, and finds a way to make some plays there at the end. Did you talk to what you saw in the two-point conversion, what you guys maybe expected? Uh, well, they jumped, so, you know, I mean, I think we were expecting something with the quarterback, you know, uh, and then they jumped, and then, you know, they you know, probably bunched us up, and, you know, again, the quarterback has got to make some decisions, and I, I don't blame them, you know, that, that matchup with Ingram, and, you know, and, and the linebacker um, had been something that they had hit, and so, you know, we were able to cover them and, and keep them from scoring. The way this league is, though, you're going to be in a lot of games like this, and just finding a way to win at the end is kind of what it's what it's all about. Yeah, I mean, we've 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 proven that over the course of of three and a half years that you know some days they're they're going to be you know really good, and you're going to have have your fastball, and everything's going to be clicking, and and some days it's going to be a little tougher sledding, and certainly that was um, the case today. Um, but you know they know how to win. They, they do know how to win, and. Um, I'm thankful for that. Does the fact that you've got you guys have had so many times where it is tough sledding does that help you in moments? Well, I mean, I think those seem these seem like the same questions that that you guys ask us all the time. You know, I don't sooner or later you guys are going to have to just watch and figure out. Like that's kind of you know the better the more you do something, probably the better you get at it or the more comfortable you get at it. Again, we don't plan them that way, Jerome. We don't. We just um, hopefully don't panic. You know, when you don't make a big deal about something, you know, they probably don't make a big deal about it. So, uh, you know, we all have to be prepared for these situations uh, in every game that come up and uh, two point conversions, uh, onside kick. You know, Nick Westbrook did a did a heck of a job there to, to recover the kick there at the end. And, you know, I'm sure there'll be a lot of great efforts and, and a lot of stuff that we'll have to correct. You'd rather not use as many guys that you've used this year, but when a guy like uh, Dylan Cole is elevated and makes a play like that, is this something that the team is kind of rallying around that people from all over the place are coming in and doing something? You know, I insert when they come in on Wednesday and I tell them at the team meeting, you know, Buck could come up here and answer these guys. You know what I mean? It's like you're expected to, to be ready to play in the football game. Will you, Dylan? You're on the practice squad. Uh, I don't know that, but you need, you're expected to be ready to play. And you know, if you get a, everybody to pre prepare like that with that idea, um, then there's no surprises or there are no scrambling on Friday when you know, somebody goes down or somebody decides that, you know, that, that they're not available. So that's how we try to approach things. Uh, on Wednesday, there's a really good chance that I'm going to say the same thing at the team meeting at 8 o'clock. Everybody that's in here this week and is going to be expected to play in the game, uh, we'll find the 48 guys that we think give us the best chance to win. Just kind of create an example of that kind of that kind of concept is Dylan's play to start. Yeah, and and, and and again, Dylan is somebody that that I go back with in Houston and um, had had factored on on special teams and, and defense, and then just kind of ran into some injuries, and uh, we we had him in, worked him out, and you know had him on the practice squad and. You know, had him ready to go, um, you know, before last week's game, and then you know, wanted to be able to try to utilize his skill set, and it looked like he really factored um, on special teams, and so you know that'll probably get him some more opportunities. Yeah, he were was Johnson's Huge, huge, and that was, you know, what we needed to see from Marcus. I think Marcus needed to see a little bit of that for himself, but uh, you know, had had a really really good game for us. You had two delayed games in the, in the red zone. What, what happened on those? Well, I think just you know, we get in that long yardage situation. I wasn't uh, very excited about taking a, a timeout on you know third and fifteen or whatever it was. And um, you know, we, we have to be better in those situations. Uh, Ryan Ryan felt like he had the one under control. Um, 
you know, the official didn't see it the same way. And I, and I trust Ryan, you know, with, with the snap count, you know, and, you know, making sure that we understand it the same, that, you know, you see zero and then the official looks down and then if he sees the ball still there, he, he calls it. And so that's what happened. But, you know, Ryan felt like he, he had the situation under control, and I, and I trust him a lot of those times. How would you assess the running back script today? Uh, I mean, I think that there were some really positive plays. I mean, I thought we, we hit a few you know, good runs and that they hit the right hole, ran hard. You know, I'll have to take a look and see what the blocking looked like. I know that Deontay made an unbelievable play, you know, well blocked. He made a great catch and um, a, a great job on that screen play. That was a huge play. So much of this is opportunity, and your defense gave your offense two short fields, and they got seven twice. How much to be able to take those turnovers? Turn, you know, I mean, this is a this is a really good defense, and you know, playing against these guys and preparing, uh, knew that we would have to outplay their defense. Um, I felt like we were we were kind of even with them, and then probably we gave a little bit away there um, late in the game, you know, with some X plays that changed field position, but. Um, you know, our, our offense has, has done a nice job. We need to continue to do a better job in the red zone, you know, and, and taking care of the football. Uh, but if you can do that and you can take care of it and not turn it over uh, and do a nice job in the red zone, uh, you have a chance. Touched on some of the things that you want to get better at just now, right? And yeah. Some, some of the, some yeah, of the you, sloppiness. But. Yeah, the sloppiness, I think, is, is things that we're always going to, you know, the efficiency in, in which we run our offense, the efficiency that we have on first down, whether we run it, whether we, we throw it, um, you know, the pr protection, blocking at the second level, you know, defensive communication, uh, being able to, uh, you know, when you, when you get into a situation where you're playing a lot of guys, those are new guys sometimes next to each other, um, that the communication is there so that you're trying to avoid mistakes by communicating to somebody that's standing, you know, three or four feet away from you, you know, and, and just not being, feeling like you're by yourself out there, that you've got 11 guys to work with and to function with. And, you know, we did that a lot of times, and then there were some times where I felt like we were, we were scrambling a little bit. I was actually going to ask you about the good, but you went to the bad. So you are sticking That's out. the life of a coach. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just in terms of how you're reflecting a few minutes after the game of, of the good of what you saw. I, I saw a team that, that, that got some turnovers. I, th I thought we played well defensively early. I thought we, um, we, we threw the ball uh, efficiently early when it was tough to run the football. And I think that, you know, whether that was, you know, Ryan trying to invest in completions, I thought we protected our quarterback early. Now, some of those things uh, changed. You know, some of those things change and give the credit to, to their defense. But offensively, I felt like, um, you know, Ryan, Ryan had time to throw. There was a good pocket to, to step up and firm on the inside and uh, to be able to step up and, and complete passes. What about William going on IR Saturday? I mean, obviously the hamstring, but I mean, what made you make that decision and, and, and what's the prognosis for him down the line? Well, there's a lot of things that we, um, you know, again, I wouldn't, you know, Corey, we've been around me for a while. The prognosis is, uh, IR is, is at least three weeks. And so um, they're, they're not going to let us change those rules. Um, outside of that, I'm not going to be able to give you a timeline. But um, every move that we make, we feel like we do in the best interest of the football team. And um, that, that's you know, why we did it. AJ dropped one there early and wasn't much of a force in this game. Good that you find alternatives, obviously. But the, what do you think of where he was, where it is? I'm sure there'd be some plays that he'd like to have back, and I'm sure there were some good plays too, and just like everybody else. What's your initial assessment of Chris McFulton, what he was able to do today, and what different dynamic does he bring to that right corner? Well, Christian was playing with a lot of confidence, and he was excited about being out there, and I felt like really starting to improve, and, and playing corner in this league is a, is a tough proposition. They're, they're going to catch passes on you to, and to be able to come back and, and line up again and compete and make a play. Um, so I thought you know, for him to play as much as he did today and come out, I hope, OK, I think OK. Uh, it'll be good to have him back and, and continue to get some, some practice from him and, and build some continuity back there.